role this year has been mentoring Sarah, the, uh, the new secretary, and also playing the role as a volunteer to uh, do some little extra jobs that need to be done. And I'm enjoying it, enjoying it this year. I don't have as much pressure. Uh, what I get out of it, I don't know. I volunteer for lots of organisations. It's just something I feel that I may not have the money to donate, but I have the time to donate. So it gives me lots of pleasure. Been involved in tourism and events for many, many, many years uh, before we moved to Echuca. So I understand and, and appreciate the ro or, or the uh, position events have in a town and what they do for the economy and that type of thing. And it means that if uh, all these events are successful, whether it be our steam rally, it means that we can uh, keep the town running, it brings in the money for the town uh, and helps just in general with so the, the money which is raised it gets used for a lot of like, good projects and that doesn't it it yes. certainly does and that's the other thing like other events we use other community groups yes. to help with the rally so they're all volunteers in their own right they do it for their own organization and at the end of the rally the Rotary Club give a donation to those groups that have participated and that way then even though that they're, they're the same they're not getting any monetary value for themselves but they have projects for their own organization so that in itself is a great thing for the community for the town well I'm here as a volunteer my husband's a Rotarian and uh, I just like to be involved with what Rotary is doing I am a member of Inner Wheel which is a group that um, originally was for the ladies of, or for the wives of Rotarians and so we are now um, an independent organisation but we still volunteer. Um, I'm currently president of our club and we um, sell pies in uh, in what we used to have a pie van but now they, the ladies all sell pies and it's all to go to fundraising for Rotary and Rotary does so many good things um, and the volunteers uh, run the pie shop they man it and um, we get a uh, we get a, a check every year for our services so therefore what Rotary makes on the weekend of the steam rally goes to the local some of the local organizations that that come along and volunteer they volunteer because they want to be involved and it helps us with the, the work that in a wheel does so um, it's a dual benefit Hey, how is it going? Fantastic. We're down here at the at the Stew Kitchen Camp Cooking, right? Where it's run by the Rochester Rotary Club, who volunteer for us each year. And uh, as you can see, it'll be a hive of activity shortly. Yes. And uh, down here, where they cook the dampers. Yes. And then. Across to your right is where they they heat all the stews on the open fire. Yes. And beautiful food. Then you see the girls over there waiting for the customers. Yes. We're support staff. This is the operations of the Rochester Rotary Club run it every year. Right. Uh, and the myself and two others, we're support staff for the road to make sure it runs the way they want it right. So how long have you been doing this for, right? This is my third year. Third year, yeah. yeah. So why, why do you do that? What's in there? What, what do you get out of it? Well, that? I've always been involved in food all my life, being a butcher. So this sort of thing is, um, I'm suited to this sort of thing. And, um, that's why we do it. And plus we enjoy doing it. Yeah. Tell me a bit more about it, Rex. Well, I, I, bought it, I bought it absolutely uh, wrecked a lot, Buggy. Okay. And, uh, and I spent about three months on and off uh, repairing it. And getting it in order, and uh, it, it's kept in the shed. But I'll have to put it in the, in the big shed. It's no good backing it. The uh, the pole gets broken, and it's a lot, lot of work to get a new ah, pole. Okay. And, uh, 
That's yeah. that, that pole up the centre. See that? See that? See that uh, yeah. Light log up the centre. Yeah. Well, that get, that gets broken if you're back. It's not meant to back. It's only meant to go forward. Okay. So like you and me, Shaq. We're only meant to go forward, not look back. <laughs> yes. And uh, um, you might see them pull the uh, pull the logs on. I don't know what they're going to do, but I think they are to pull the log on from sideways. They get get out lying sideways, and they put the chains around it. And the, and, and, and the team of horses, which are, which are unhooked off there, they, they, they pull the chains and, and it pulls the log buggy up. But it's got to be very finely done because otherwise, if you don't, uh, if you pull it too hard, the log goes too far, falls yeah, off. Of course, of yeah. course. Yeah. So that's, yeah. uh, that's the sort of thing. Uh, um, I thought you'd be pleased to see those uh, uh, run flat tyres on it. Yeah, uh, no, I saw they, that. Yeah. They, they, they took me a lot of doing. I, used to, I built them in the garage out of the moor and, uh, and then I couldn't move the darn things. I was stuck to the concrete underneath. Duck it, move that thing down. <laughs> well, my role is, is the uh, Rotarian in the horse section, Jack. Oh, yeah. And uh, I've got to keep my eye on everything and see, see these people, uh, see that the other Rotarians that come around taking photos, uh, doing a bit of work. Yes. And uh, not just taking photos, just uh, just doing a bit of work. And. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I keep my eye open in case anything gets dangerous, and uh, and uh, and since they, if they want anything, I uh, immediately uh, pick it up. I'm very very smart like that, uh, Jack. I'm uh, very observant and watching things. And uh, I've, been, I've been attached to steam rally for about 37 years, I think. Yes. Even before my father was a road there and I used to come around. Oh, but, um, I've been here too long, too long, Jack. Too long. I'm, I'm ready to retire. And, uh, but anyway, I don't want people to grinning at me, the shack. Thank you very much. Very good. And, uh, so we're anyway. doing deliveries to the kitchens and uh, generally running around putting out bushfires. So how does it uh, make you feel to be volunteering in the Roger Club? Um, Sensational. Over there, Daniel. Right there, yeah. So It's good to help out. Yes. Like all Rotarians do on this particular weekend, it's a yes. big weekend and uh, we need to um, raise some funds for the club and help out with the community projects, it's fantastic. Very good. I'm the fireman. You're, you're the fireman? Yeah, I look after the fire. <laughs> I lit them up, I got them all lit this morning. Yes. Got them all going, so they had hot water. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's tradition. Um, it's going for 54 years and to be involved in something that's been going for 54 years is a pretty good history. So I don't know, it's my fourth year over here and uh, you know, it's amazing me the number of people that come through. Uh, but no, it's, it's, it's tradition, really it is. And uh, no, I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? So, Clem, just tell me what's going on here. What's this thing? Well, my role, Shaq, is to uh, take a complimentary coffee or a complimentary <coughs> black tea and biscuits yes. to um, all the exhibitors, the, who are, you know, the loyal exhibitors that come back every year. Right. And um, the, um, um, they receive you with just a, you know, a great deal of joy and, and, and you know, it's, um, it is, it's a great job to do. Yes. It gives me a huge amount of pleasure. <coughs> Um, and it's mainly the way you're received by the people that uh, you, 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 you get coffee for. Yeah. Um, my workbench is a bit limited. Um, and, uh, <laughs> yes. I have spilt the sugar twice. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, we're managing quite okay. So I, um, but um, it, it's a complimentary service that Rotary provide each year to the exhibitors. Oh, and um, the trike itself, uh, I think Jeff Harris built that. Right. And um, uh, it's, it is a beautiful trolley, and uh, it's a, a very eye-catching machine to be riding yeah, around yeah, on. I can tell. Like, yeah. It's very unique. Uh, is that enough? <laughs> you better run out. So lucky to have had Julie Lomas as a volunteer working all the way since late last year, all the way through during the rally, prior to the rally, and following the rally. Julie's work has been phenomenal. She's been putting in a whole lot of activity each week and we couldn't have run the rally without her. Of course she was our previously our secretary and she has so much knowledge and that's been great for Sarah 
and it's been so great for the rally this year. My current role in STEM Rally uh, is managing the country kitchen where we cook many thousand scones um, with a dedicated group of about 30 volunteers and it's now my fourth year, I've done it for four years, so it's been wonderful. Well, my husband is a uh, shipwright, a boat builder, and very interested in the history, so he's always been involved in Steam Rally as well, and his role is managing the steam engines and getting the exhibitors to come. Now, he supports me in what I do with the rally because we both care about Rotary and raising money and uh, doing something positive in the community and that it's a great event. Um, it not only involves my husband babysitting at times, but my mother and friends as well. And quite a few of the volunteers in the country kitchen are new mums. Yes. We just had children. So we understand that sometimes they can volunteer for two hours, three hours, and others will volunteer for the whole weekend. It just depends on what, what they can do. Yeah. I was the uh, STEAM, um, STEAM coordinator. Yes. So we, we talk to all the, the STEAM exhibitors and arrange uh, to see who's available this year to come along with the local engines yes. and then with the we have a, a transport budget which we also then uh, ask people from Melbourne and um, you know, Leeton and other areas around that they'd like to visit and uh, each year we try and get a different variety of engines to come along with our transport budget. Oh, look, I first went to the steam rally in 1991 uh, and it was uh, pretty exciting, I enjoyed it. And then I started exhibiting in 94 and in about um, 2008, I think it was, um, there was an availability for the STEAM coordinator. So since that time I've been looking after it. Okay. Yeah, so it's just, I can give something back and it's good fun. Yeah, look, it's, it's good to give something back. The, um, the Rotary STEAM rally has been going now for over 50 years. So it's, um, it's a vital part of our cultural heritage in Echuca, you could say and uh, a terrific fundraiser. Fantastic. So we'd like to demonstrate our skills and how things are done in the past and we can do it here at the uh, Achuca Steve Horses Vintage Rally. You'll appreciate that these displays put on by the uh, exhibitors, um, they do so at great expense to themselves. They receive no remuneration for being here other than your acknowledgement. So if you like the display, uh, go and have a chat to them, ask them questions about the display. Uh, appreciate it. We're really pleased to see so many people, thousands and thousands of people along to the rally this year. And we remind them that we're always creating something new and interesting. And we look forward to seeing them again.